Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog. Welcome to Scorched Earth, playing Ark Survival Ascended. And uh, since the last time, and the first time we've uh, done a live stream here on Scorched Earth, we've got some stuff done. We've got slight expansion to the base. It's still in really rough shape, very uh, haphazard over here. And uh, we've got our first sets of crops are growing and a few other minor improvements. Probably the most major thing, though, is we have a couple of wyverns. And today we're going to hatch out some wyverns. I hatched out the low-level ones, and we're going to see what we've got. So we've got some more decent ones here. But first, first let's say hello to uh, Lucas. Welcome to the live stream. Hello, Bone Dust. How are you doing? Good to see all you guys here today on uh, YouTube and also streaming on Twitch. So... Playing on our community server as usual and getting some work done. So we've got like those, uh, I don't know, those were level 90 when we hatched them out. 90 and a 95. We've got a 155 lightning or fire, a 95 fire. I don't know if we're going to hatch that one out. we got a 150 lightning, a 180 lightning, and a 190 lightning to hatch out today. And then I don't think I'm going to hatch out these uh, poison wyvern eggs. I really want to get some high-level poisons. Well, I want to get high-level everything. But I think I want to get the poison wyverns up and running. And, uh, yeah, um, let's grab some food here. Definitely... Um, the uh, jerky is the definite, the cooked meat jerky is the definite thing to use around here because it does not spoil very much. Let's switch out some of that, put some of that in there. We need some spark powder to get that going as well. And we're going to need more oil. Um, I put down an oil pump and we're going to probably have to go visit that today and get the first oil out of there. Let's top that off. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, I think, is set some stuff up. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, hey, Pixie Cat, how you doing today? Somebody was having uh, problems finding the Wyvern Trench. Let's look. Yeah, let's go through the map this way. Map, sir. There we go. So we are way over here. And so the Wyvern trends, Trench runs north and south here at about, what, 15 degrees and then all the way down this way. So it starts at about, um, let's see. 3015 or something like that right yeah about 3015 runs all the way down so once you find it you can't miss it so if you just head west you'll eventually run across it basically uh let's see is that ash hello armed old man hello how are you doing hey thank you for uh subbing with prime over there on twitch much 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 appreciated haven't seen you on the uh, server, so we do have a cluster now. So I know you were on uh, the island, and you can make your way over here to Scorched Earth and bring your character and dinos and all that good stuff. So you can uh, get a good jump start if you want. A lot of people have kind of started out uh, naked or semi-naked. I kind of did that um, to start out with. I just brought this Gigantoraptor, which was actually kind of nice for getting around the map early days. But uh, I do need to focus a little bit. We're going to craft up a couple of air conditioners. We're going to use the automated arc ones and see if we've got enough resources to pull over here. Looks like I got to grab some silica pearls, which I have got a ton of. I was having a really hard time just picking up silica pearls on my own, so I did bring the anglerfish over here. Um, yeah. I didn't want to mess around. So let's pull enough resources to craft up two of these guys if we can. Need thatch. Come on. There we go. All right. So we'll craft up two of those. And we'll get those guys um, hatching out. Oh, man. So you can't play on there. It's been crashing every 15 minutes because you can't play on surfers that run battle eye. Well, that is too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, I know we've got a couple of people that are having problems with, like, just all the Nitrato servers and having problems just loading in and all that. So, oh, I totally forgot I have a baby here. All right, so we've got a new dude here. We might have had another baby, actually. So let's unfollow that. 
And then we're going to set up our breeding area just outside over here for right now. Do we have, yeah, let's give uh, some berries to this baby over here. Hopefully we get some good stats. It'd be nice to have one imprinted. So what do we got? I got 42 in the melee. What's the weight on this guy? 34, not so great. So you were 34 weight, you were 32. So not the greatest uh, dodicarus, but it's a good start. So what else do we need? I was going to steal a saddle so I can move these Argentavises, but I'm not seeing it. I should have enough resources, I think, to craft up some more Argentavis saddles. Let's go with uh, this journeyman one we got here. Let's just pull enough resource for one of those, except that was the one I wanted to actually craft, not the, what is this one? Capro saddle. So there we go. Handsome Hank, hi, how's it going? And uh, VRTX, you're going to join Scorched Earth for the first time? <laughs> well, welcome. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, Pixie Cat, does it seem like the resources are in the same spots as they were on ASC? I think in general, yeah, they're pretty much, they seem to be in the same spots. I haven't actually explored the map a whole ton here. But uh, from what I am seeing, it does seem that they're at about the same location. So I think we'll just park you guys over here. Grab the saddle off of you. And then we're going to move. Oh, we did get some new um, Ankies as well. So that's kind of handy. Hopefully, I'm going to kind of work on breeding up some super Ankies over time. Because Ankies are something that we could use basically on all the maps. All right, so you can be over there. We can put our new air conditioners down. I want to enclose this area, but for right now, let's just uh, put that guy over there. Why is that one snapping over there? I guess we'll just uh, unsnap these guys. I think that'll be good. So I forget what these uh, modded ones, we actually have to turn them on. Let's get those eggs. Uh, let's get the lightning eggs anyway. Um, going so we're gonna do all three of these guys I forget how the stats work on you know wyverns exactly what would actually be good at these levels so I got a bunch of eggs yesterday but they were no good so I ate them oh we used to have that guy is uh, got to turn off egg collecting on our over raptor we brought over over raptor because our modded um, egg crate that we have that picks up eggs, uh, at least for me, is not working at all. So it worked when I put it down, and then it just stopped working. And I think it, it's still picking up sterile eggs, but it's not picking up fertilized eggs from anything right now. Hey, Michael Kennedy, good morning to you. Good to see you. Oh, v VRTX, you're Seth. Okay. Hi, Seth. Got to write that down. <laughs> uh, Lucas, where's your base? Because I like the spot. We're right at the tip of the um, the Wyvern Cave here. So we're on the very northern edge of the Wyvern Cave. And if you just look east, you'll be able to find this area. There's a bunch of nice cliffs up here. Uh, Hank has uh, got a base just over there. Um, so that's good. And let's grab that fire Wyvern egg. And I think everything else, uh, the 155, and I think everything else we're just going to hold off on. And then later today, we'll hatch out these Argentavis eggs because I'm trying to breed up some good Argentavises. All right, so let's do that real quick and drop that. But before we go into the Wyvern Trench, I want to uh, enclose this little area to keep it better protected. We're going to just take this guy for a little walk. Yay, I didn't fall down there. <laughs> I need to build some elevators and stuff for when I fall down these cliffs. <laughs> It'll be pretty handy. Okay, I'm stuck here. I crafted up a bunch of foundations and stuff, but I really need our walls and ceilings. Let's see what we have for walls. Um, do we have? We got two. So how many can we craft? Oh, we can craft a whole bunch. I think we're going to go too high, though. Uh, two walls high, so let's just make up like 16 and see where that gets us. And then ceiling-wise, I think we had a, several of those. We got 10 of those. That might be close to enough, so 
let's get started with these walls. Let's see where we can go. So I guess we'll probably just take these down. We're actually not going to need some of these walls. I really, I'm going to end up taking this entire base down because it's really, it's really not that good. <laughs> uh, bunk bed. No, I don't want the bunk bed. I want the wall. There we go. Because it, yeah, the base kind of sucks, to be honest here. Um, yeah, let's go out that way. Can we expand through the rock? Because we might as well. I think it's going to be a little while, though, before we actually get around to... Let's do a door here. To uh, fixing the base nice and whatever because yeah it's just gonna be a while because we got lots of things that we want to do before we have like a pretty base I guess and maybe we'll just eventually no nah, I don't like that craft up something a little different here okay so that's pretty good that's a lot bigger than I thought I was gonna make it but that's all right Is your base location different than ASE? Yeah, it's much, much different. You feel like the, um, uh, the Gigantoraptor fits really good on this map as well? Yeah, I think it actually does. Um, it takes a while, but you can actually hop up most of these cliffs. Sometimes it takes a little bit to find the uh, perfect one or whatever. So let's make another 15 or so walls here sometimes it takes a while to get up those cliffs but you can do it uh, what do we got 16 uh, we'll just make all 16 here probably going to have to make some more adobe now that I've got a chainsaw it doesn't take quite as long as it used to here alright I did put up a gun turret we do get Argentavis spawning around here is this the Oh, these are these are the quarter ones. We don't want those. Can I get you? No. Okay. Well, we'll be back for you. Unfortunately, I can't walk through here yet. Uh, I like to do a lot of my base tweaking off stream. Actually, I can walk. No, I can't walk through here. And I need a drink of water already because it's scorched earth. There we go. Yeah, my base location in scorched earth was kind of just off the main sort of river that runs through the north and south um, parts. No, this is right. My Maybe my sense of scale is just off. Why is it not? Why does it look so small? Is it just because it's way up in the air? Because that's... Yeah, it's just looking weird to me. It's actually just fine. There we go. So I just want to close this in here for safety. Like I said, we do have Argentavis and whatnot coming through here. So it's a good idea to put a roof over where at least where we're going to have them as uh, little babies. Once they're a little bit bigger, I'm less concerned about them. Okay, so we need to craft up ceilings. And now we're probably out of resources, right? Uh, clay. Yeah, clay is what we need. Clay is maybe... Do we have clay? Do we have any clay in here? Okay, we got some clay. Maybe this will be enough to finish this area. We can always get some cactus sap pretty easy. Except uh, then we'll have to get some sand, but that's why we got the dodicarus to get us some sand. So that's good. All right, let's do the ceilings then. There we go. How many of these can we craft now? 18, I don't think we'll need that many. We'll definitely be building a bigger base, and so if we make too many, we'll have more. Uh, is that the big uh, blue thing a good base for Scorched Earth? Um, the big blue obelisk? Uh, it's got a really nice, uh, it's got some nice water there. I was going to say it's kind of dangerous, but that's the whole freaking map. The whole map is pretty dangerous. The only place I really wouldn't build for sure is in the out in the sand dunes. Because there's no resources out there, and there's uh, 
the death worms and all that good stuff that you do not want to deal with. Um, but yeah, blue obelisk is pretty nice. It's very pretty there as well. All right, let's get these walls up before I get too far. This will help us from the weather. Early days on Scorched Earth, your main, well, everything is horrible. On early days on Scorched Earth, if you're level one, if you start at level one, just a really, like we got right now. Why is this open? Oh, I'm hearing some banging on the door, and that is the cat trying to get in as usual. He does not want to be left out of uh, out of the fun here. Go away, kitty. Take a hint. <laughs> it's funny, though, because it sounds like he's knocking the way he's uh, banging on the door. All right. Come on. There we go. I think we're all enclosed in here now, except we need a door. It's, uh, we got a sandstorm, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, the storms in here are freaking annoying. Okay, so we just need a door. Which we might have one. We do. All right, so got pretty close to that. So I think after this storm breaks, we're going to go into the Wyvern Trench. We're going to try it with uh, Argentavis just for fun and see how that goes. Yeah, Kitty Cat wants to feel included. All right, so how much time we got on these guys? Got about 12 minutes. So... So we don't need um, wyvern milk. Let's pick this up and move it. All right. We don't need my wyvern milk on this map because everything. Because uh, everything. What was I going to say? Let's put this back here. Because uh, our. Yeah, there we go. Our mature rates are so quick that, let's close this guy up, that we can just sort of wait it out because um, then they'll start um, using meat. And this is really dark in here, so let's put up a couple of lamps. I kind of like um, having the, uh, the new lamps that we get with the with the expansion. So let's put up a couple of those oil lamps. They're kind of cool. And it seems like they can be powered by the generator, which is weird, but that's pretty handy. So let's put up some of these guys on the wall. So we got the street light version, which is kind of neat. And then we've got a table lamp and we got the side lamp. And actually, I think in here we could go with the chandelier. Um, put that right in the middle. Let's see how much light that adds in here. Not a lot during the sandstorm. So let's put one on. Let's put on one on the wall in here since we've got this little pocket kind of a thing. So we got to go to that guy. That helps. Yeah, that's a lot more doable. Oil lamp generator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, the cat has given up. The cat has given up and gone away. So at least the storms are over pretty darn quickly. So what we're going to do is uh, drop off some of this extra gear that I've got. Actually, can I put it in here? Do we have enough room? Not that much room. I want to bring at least one of those. This, let's grab these walls out of here that that we want to be a little bit lighter when we go into the trench um i don't need that in there that in there I think, or that i want this to be kind of my go-to dumping spot there we go so we'll keep all this stuff and then i'll just dump this in the uh sorter bin here you can figure it out later i guess i don't need these empty cryopods with me at this time want to lose as much weight here as we can that guy all right so we should be good like i said we want to see if we can do this 
Yeah, nice chandelier, no, a nice oil uh, lamp in there. So we're going to take our good Argentavis here. And then we've got all these spares that we're going to take with us. And it's going to be, I should have leveled them up first, but I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. All right, dude. Yeah, you don't want to come, do you? So we're going to use this, uh, we're going to use brute force method to get some wyvern eggs. <laughs> See if this works or not. Um, this is how I got the first wyvern eggs. But now that I have wyverns, even though they're low level ones, that's my preferred way to get them on this map. But I thought this might be a little bit more entertaining anyway. Hopefully we don't lose our good bird. Let's get everybody over here, I believe. Let's double check their, their status here if they're on attack target. They seem to all be on attack target, which is exactly what I want. I don't want the bird that I'm flying, though, to be... Um, yeah, I don't want the bird that I'm flying to... Uh, I want him to be on passive so that uh, he doesn't go fly off and leave me alone in the trench, because that would be very bad. It's not that scary, though, because we got the death recovery mod, which I can just use to get my stuff back also I don't have like a super saddle on here or anything I should have brought some cactus broth or something all right guys go get him so we're gonna have him ho hopefully these guys will be able to clear some of these wyverns out so that when I grab an egg I don't have to run away they are super slow there they go what level of wyvern? It's a 95, so it's not a it's not a joke. But look at that. They're really not getting the hits in. <laughs> it's just a turning uh, a turning circle. Okay. So let's just land over here and see if we can get away with this. They're going to come for me. So we're going to have to... Where is the guy? Is he coming for me? Oh no, he's completely distracted. Let's see if we can get him to turn so that my guys can actually get some hits in. Well, he got a hit in. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, his health is down. Alright, so that let's let that play out. Oh, that wasn't a good fall there. What did we get? We got we got a 95 here. Uh, we'll keep that for right now, but I don't think that's what we want. Let's help these guys out. They're not really doing any hits. They're just falling them in a big group. So we got to get this poison to stop turning, basically. And come after me, and then hopefully we can certainly take bites, but my character will take gas damage. Yeah, I'm losing. I lost a quarter of my health with that blast of gas poison. Don't think I'm getting bit by there. Right. Come on, guys, get in there. <laughs> so this is taking quite a while. I think I'm doing all the damage. So the pathfinding is really good because they're going in a nice circle. There we go. We got them. All right, guys. Are you following me still? Good. All right. Let's head back down. All right. Where should I spawn from scorched for Scorched Earth? Midlands, South, or North? I don't know. I'm not really sure either. It's all really hard. I like to spawn probably in the Midlands. Um, I think that's the best way to go. How's the health of these guys, by the way? They haven't really taken any damage. No one was uh, was hurt. In <laughs> 
Uh, that's pretty crazy. All right. So we're going to do this. Um, we might just go back for one of the wi our, uh, our tame wyverns in a minute. Just because this is... It's effective, but it's also like... Pretty tedious. I don't want to do that. Where is he? I can't see now. It's all... F Whoa! There we go. Okay. Is this a lightning that we're after? Yeah. Lightning is very dangerous to me. Let's, we're going to just let that play out and look for nests. Well, I hear frying. No, you, dude, you need to go over here and get, and get this guy. Get him. There. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Pixie Cat, it's all bad. Can't survive one second without getting hit by something. Yeah, it's... Um, I think when I spawned in, like, the second time, I spawned in the middle of a wolf pack, and there was other stuff around, too. So... Seems to not be a ton of nests over here. I do really need to try to heal myself up a little bit, though, in case we get hit by some lightning or something like that, because we will not survive. Let's see here. Any eggs around the uh, nests around the corner? Not seeing anything. All right, let's go back and get our other Argentavises because I don't want to get too far away from that one. Uh, what's the best pumping for Scorched? I'm not sure what you mean by pumping. So maybe these guys killed the wyvern or the wyvern just gave up and got bored. I'm not really sure what happened. All right. Head through here. Yeah, Scorched, you're going to have to fire the uh, fight the immediate uh, creatures, but the weathers are also going to get you. So you want to get yourself some good cloth armor. So you can stay cool most of the time. Um, you can die from the cold too, but you're going to want to, as soon as you can, get some cloth armor and a place to hide from the weather. Now these seem to be pretty played out here. I'm not really seeing any nests. Maybe somebody's come through pretty recently. There are, there are several people on the server this morning, so it could be. Oh, putting levels in. The first levels I would do um, Fortitude because the environment really wants to kill you here, as I've said. That's kind of stinks. Uh, there's one wyvern. Not seeing too many eggs. Get him. Come on, boys and girls, get that guy. I don't want to deal with him. There, they're going for it. Okay, here's a nest. But that's what I do first. Some people actually put points into water, which is pretty crazy that that's even a, a decent idea to do. Okay. All right, so let's just, I think we're safe due to the fact that my cloud of guys has cleared everybody out. So that's looking safe-ish. We're just going to go ahead and eat that egg. It was a level 20. South end of the trench. Okay, we're making our way to the south. So, so we're just going to eat that guy. Get rid of it. You always want to collect the eggs and get rid of them. So that better levels will spawn in. Because if you just leave those eggs, no, you're not going to get higher level spawn in and eventually the eggs actually spoil so when you pick them up they just disappear right away which takes some time but it does happen okay we got a nest over here on the left so i'm gonna go check that out green bean says there's eggs down at the south end and we're moving that way so got a lightning here just out of curiosity it is a level 170 okay I am going to fly this way because I don't know if there's any wyverns in the area. I don't think so. Just fly this way around. 
it looks like we're safe, but we better go pick up our little flock of birds. There they are. So they've either won or I don't know what's up with these guys. But they are completely healed up, basically. The only thing they're running out of is food. Is it pronounced wyvern or wyvern? It's pronounced, uh, it's, uh, some people pronounce, used to pronounce it wyvern. I used to do that, but it's pronounced wyvern. If you want to irritate some people, pronounce it wyvern. I think the reason why the best video that I have on there is, uh, on, on my channel is how to get, um, wyvern eggs on Ragnarok way back in the day and I think one of the reasons why it did so well is because it had a lot of good engagement of people uh, trying to correct my pronunciation of wyvern so I, I said wyvern during the thing because that's how I first heard it pronounced and some people just think that you're a complete moron if you uh, mispronounce something so I don't know I don't think that but I mispronounce things all the time so so this is a level 100. So this is might escape on this might be a little bit difficult. Nope. All right, guys, do we have any wyverns around? So we've been kind of lucky in that the trench has been pretty, pretty sparsely populated by wyverns. How's my weight? My weight is doing pretty good. There's one. I'm gonna, I don't know if I want to keep these or not, but, well, that whatever that, was it a 170? We're definitely keeping that guy. But the other ones I'm not so sure of. Okay, I saw a wyvern over there. Let's go check this. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go deal with this situation. Where is it? Okay, there's another nest. That's good. Oh, there it is. So, that might be the one from before. No. Well, let's just grab the egg. Now that we know the wyvern is, we'll just turn around. Ah, grab it. There we go. I think we're going to get blasted here. Are they going to come for us? They seem to be a lot less, have a lot less aggro than the last one. Or a dragon. Yeah, you'll get corrected about the whole dragon thing, though, because the dragon, do we get hit finally? Yeah, we're finally, whoa, that was bad. Oh, we got two coming in now. All right, so finally. So somewhere over here, I forget exactly where, we've got like a communal, whoa, that's cool. Is that somebody? Somewhere we got a communal, there it is. We're heading for it for sure. Oh, that must be green, that bitch has green bee. Let's head over this way. There he goes. Cool, got him. <laughs> All right, so let's head back down this way. And grab that egg. Egg or two. So we got this one here. Yeah, because a dragon has four legs. So some people who are into all that kind of stuff will get mad if you call wyverns dragons because dragons have four legs and wyverns have only two legs. All right. I think we're pretty good here. And this one we got already. That's where we caused all the commotion. And, oh, no, we didn't get this one. Or it just did it. Oh, this is a multi. This is the multiverse. You can see it's flashing between fire and uh, poison. So there was at least two there. So that's cool. All right. So this is one way to do it. Um, you can get yourself a whole collection of Argentavises to sacrifice some of these guys. Um, this wouldn't work quite as good, obviously, if we had a lot more wyverns floating around. 
How's my weight? We're getting kind of heavy here, so I'm going to have to stop and look and see what we have for levels. I'm not sure what to do with all these Argentavises. So let's just grab these here. We'll probably end up doing another run today, and then we'll grab, like I said, we'll grab the Wyvern for that. And I want to build one of those, um, I want to build one of those turret wall tower deals. Oh, we're stuck. I want to build one of those on uh, the north end of the trench so that we can get that. Okay, we got another one here. This guy. Guess I should change the follow distance on here. I don't think it would really help. Let's see what we got, though. Got a 90. We got a 50 lightning, so we're going to eat that one. A 20 fire. Eat that one. 15 fire. We're definitely going to eat that one. And a 20. So no luck there. So I grab that one. I got to find my bird. I got him. What did we get here? That was an 85. Uh, I think we eat that one too. There we go. <clears throat> but we definitely want to set one up for weight around here so that we can uh, haul resources around. Did we get that? Oh, we got two eggs over here. Or two nests over here. Are we under attack? I heard a weird sound. I don't care if you call wyverns dragons. It's not... It's not going to ruin my day. <laughs> I think it's funny, though, that people get upset about it. It's like, how dare you miss like identify some fantasy uh, creatures. Oh, I think I hear shooting going on. Maybe that's what I hear with the turret tower. Okay, we got another one over here. Yeah, green bean was definitely right. There are a lot of nests down here in the south end today. Can't even dismount here. There we go. And here's another one. Oh, I wonder if we're even missing some because it's getting so excited. Maybe Green Bean's been cleaning out all these wyverns too. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. Here's a lightning. We're going to have to stop and check levels again. I'm stuck. All right, guys, get out of here. All right. Oh, we got we got a lightning over here. So finally, we're going to. Oh, we're going to get zapped. We got a bob and weave here. Do not want to get fired on or lightninged. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you're clearing clearing uh, wyverns out to get into the cave. Yeah, I noticed the cave yesterday, but then how am I badly am I getting murdered here? I suppose we could go for the this bad idea. Somehow I didn't get hit though. Can you guys kill it please? I just want to show that this does in fact work. Maybe if we could get this thing pinned up against a wall, they would shred it pretty darn... Oh, man. They would shred it pretty darn quickly if uh, if they would just be able to hit it. Because they're decent wyverns. That was a 160, so that wasn't a joke at all. All right, so let's grab... This might be the last nest. You say tomato, I say tomato. Yeah. Oh, we got uh, we got multiples here, so we're gonna have to dump some of these um, if we need to. So that's a twenty. So let's dump that. That's a twenty. Let's eat that. We're not dumping a twenty-five. We'll eat that. 
90, eh, 50, definitely eat that one. I'm going to hold on to this 90 for now. Probably. There's one, there's two, there's three. So there were three, three eggs there. So that's pretty handy. Oh man, we got more nests. We got two more nests to check out. Three. Holy cow. All right. Keep moving. There we go. All right. You. Yeah, I haven't even checked the levels yet. What are you guys doing over there? Um, of the ones I just picked up. So did I get a 190? That's pretty sweet if I did. All right. This is a 100. Okay. All right, and was there one more nest? I think there was one more nest. I think it was just down here on the left. Yeah, there it is. Did we grab it, though? I don't like how it takes forever to actually see the eggs. Excuse me, that's the way it was on ASC as well. Okay, so one egg there. I didn't check the level of that one, but now we can just get out of here. I'm pretty sure... We're good to go. We're far from the main base. The Wyvern Trench is so long around here. All right, get these guys going. We're gonna need to dump some eggs though. Cause it is too, I am overburdened here with this bird. Terror birds are a pain, especially a group of terror birds. All right, I guess we should just fly through the trench anyway. Okay, lightning. We got a hundred. I'm gonna hold on to that. A Ninety. Ugh, Twenty. That, definitely gonna eat that one. Oh, that is a one ninety. So we and a one sixty five poison. Very good. That one nest was great. All right. So that's good. So now we can fly at normal speeds. And I don't think these we were we just harvested. But I'm just kind of curious. Just in case things have spawned back in. I don't think so. Okay. I'm not sure what the respawn timer is. Um, hey, those those of you who are playing on the server, have you noticed that the storms seal, seem a lot further apart? It's only a level 55, but we got to we got to keep it play. Whoa. We got to please uh keep these Eggs uh, spawning in here and hopefully get higher levels. Are we stuck here? We are definitely stuck. Okay. Lumbago, how you doing? Storms seem a little bit more spread out, but not much. Okay. So I changed the resource respawn interval on the server yesterday. And... Uh, I think the the storms behave as resources. You know, I don't really want to deal with that. <clears throat> Do we have new eggs in here? Now I just want to see. Okay, I must have just missed that one. I'm going to get out of this trench because I just want to get back now. I want to get back and check out the babies that we had hatching, so... I don't want to get into t any more fights or anything if I can ha uh, help it. Now we've got new eggs to hatch out. I'm really excited to see what we got. Hopefully we got some good levels. So with wyverns, though, we want, we almost want it all, really. I mean, we don't want uh, oxygen. That's not important. But we do want stamina for sure, health for sure, and melee. Those are all super important, but weight is also really good. And then food is the other one that, you know, is not that important. So food, oxygen, who cares about that really? But everything else on a wyvern is is really nice because we also want um, just some nice utility wyverns for flying around and collecting resources and stuff like that. So that weight is going to be nice for that. Um, I'm thinking I want to do wyverns against the manticore again. It worked out okay last time if I can get high enough levels. Um, it was the last time I did Scorched Earth in like a real playthrough. 
um, was a couple of years ago, and it was really hard to get. Oh, that's some relatives. I thought that was a Rex rummaging around down there. Um, it was really hard to get good level wyvern eggs. Um, I think like the best I did was like a 150 poison or something. It was, it was not good. And we're running right now, at least for the next week, we're running the custom dino levels mod. And I think that is helping us with finding some decent, um, decent wyvern eggs. Cause we got well, at least three good ones today. I think just now, um, we got a 170 lightning and a 190 uh, lightning. So those were good. And then, oh, I think we got, was it the 165 poison? So, yeah. So three real good ones. A lot of nests we, we got, but, so we got three good eggs out of it. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, you, you did beat the mana core with poison wyverns, then lightning wyverns after watching you do it last year. That's cool. Because I guess you can do the whole Rexes in a UD thing, and I think that's probably more effective, but um, anything worth stopping for over here, that's a pretty good loadout, but I don't really need that stuff right now. Um, that drop. The poison. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's Michael talking over on uh, Twitch, by the way. Um, did you, how did it go with the uh, lightning wyverns? Cause the, one of the reasons to do poisons is because you can have them do their whatever elemental attacks, but, uh, you can wear a gas mask. So then you can't get damaged by it. But a lightning, I don't think there's any way of avoiding getting fried by accident by that. Um, mostly you'd just be kind of off to the side watching the wyverns do the work. But cause I was kind of thinking about uh, how's that going to go? Because right now I'm getting some high-level lightning stuff. Oh, we got another. Oh, we got another sandstorm rolling in here. Oh, boogers! But at least we're really close to base. Almost out of stamina, though, unfortunately. Some it's like somebody just made us walk in. Uh, hey, what are you doing down here? No imprint decided not to go in the wyvern trench. Um, we did stand back and watch mostly, and they shredded it super fast. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking I might need to do the might need to do uh, might need to do the lightnings this time, just based on the stuff I'm getting right now. Especially if I want to get mutation started pretty quick, I'm gonna have to get into that. There we go. Uh, Michael, it's been a while. Have you are you running your own servers again um, with Ark Survival Ascended? I know you did that with uh, Survival Evolved. You spent a good while mutating for melee on them. Okay. All right. So let's go take a look over here. Oh no. Where did our eggs go? I wonder if... Did they die? Did this thing finally pick them up? Oh, it finally worked. <laughs> uh, okay. It hadn't been working forever, so let's disable fertilize pickup here. Uh, and do this again. Alright, so let's drop these guys. This guy. Well, I don't want to drop them running right on top of each other here. Spread them out nice. I guess it, they probably picked them up when we went out of render distance, is my guess. But we might as well hatch out all these guys. We can cryo some of them. We did bring some cryopods over. Um, let's do all the lightnings to start out with. So let's grab these eggs here. And I'm getting overburdened here, so... There we go. So yeah, let's just do lightnings for right now. So this is a 170 and a 90. Okay, we're just gonna eat the 90. All right, so let's do that. And let's do fires too. We're gonna do the, oops, 
We're going to do this 155. And did we have a better one here? 100. Oh, we just never ate all these. Okay. So, well, we'll just do all the stupid fiber eggs. Why not, right? They glow so nicely, too. There. All right. So did we have anything in here, though, that we wanted to hatch? No. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to them right now. Very indecisive. But we are hatching stuff out, so we might as well hatch out these Argentavis eggs, I guess. See what those are going to hatch. What, what are we going to with this? Oh, you need a thing. Major berry. I should have some of that somewhere. All right, got to get you a medjo berry. Where's our guy? There he is. There we got medjos now. And there we go, imprinted. So what do we got? We got almost 7,000 health on this guy. 7,000, yeah. Melee 381. You're going to be a good little doe dickers for us. Not fantastic. I have one server set up, but not scorched yet. It's not. Uh, it's not running though. I took a break because my ASA was crashing too much. A lot of people having a lot of problems with crashing. Um, let's see. Close that out. That's good. Also that. All right, so these are going to hatch out pretty soon. So nothing should pick this up anymore. I'm trying to think, what do I want to do for right now while we wait for all this stuff? Oh, I was going to hatch out. <clears throat> are we doing okay? We're incubating this far away. That's good. I was going to hatch these guys out too. So let's dump those guys out. Kind of curious to see. We might just bomb the wyvern trench with the wyvern real quick. I'm just kind of curious to see. If we've had any respawns yet of nests on the north end of the uh, trench. So we might as well just do that real quick. It's kind of funny, but I've pretty pretty much already, I think, set for all the metal that I'm going to need on this map. Because we're not going to use much at all. Um, we're not going to build out of metal. I think we're going to need most of the metal now at this stage for bullets and... Uh, yeah, for bullets, really. All right, so let's take this dude out. We got some crazy colors because I think it's because the Easter colors were still on when I hatched these guys out yesterday. So I think that's what... Uh... Oh, you got a brand new monster PC to i9. Okay, cool. 32 gigabytes DDR4. RTX is 4070 Ti. Uh, two, ter two terabyte SSD PCIe. Okay. Crashing about every 15 minutes. That's terrible. Um, I had to upgrade my uh, graphics card. I got the same one. I got a 4070 Ti. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, it was hard for me to record and stream um, with my old 1080, which ran uh, Arc Survival Evolved just fine. So I did need to upgrade that in order to have decent graphics. So like right now I'm only actually running at 44 frames a second. Okay, I wasn't going to actually grab anything, but this is a uh, a strobe light, I think. Is this two or three eggs? So I'm pretty sure this one wasn't here before. May have been. Let's see if I can get my wings in a better spot. There we go. Yep, two eggs there. We got the fog. A tame wyvern can outrun a wild one, so I'm not super concerned. I'm more concerned about my character getting killed than anything else. This fog sucks. Why is it so foggy in the desert? Yeah, there's a new wyvern there. Okay, I'm not going to push it. Yeah, see, it didn't even aggro. That was relatively close to me. That thing should have aggroed when I grabbed that egg, I think. But it did not. Do, do, do. Well, I'm feeling pretty successful right now. That's for sure. 
I have yet really to go out in the sand. I haven't seen a death worm yet. Um, I haven't seen the big oasis thing floating around. Yeah, I just had a regular 1080. But it was fine for uh, Survival Evolve. I never felt... Oh, 150, nice. And 15 is going in the belly. All right. So let's go ahead. Get that one hatching, I guess, too. What the heck? Might as well hatch all these dang things, right? They're kind of glitching into the floor a bit, but that's okay. So we got two fires. Oh, I wish we had the incubator because it would tell me if these were male or females. It would tell me if what the points were already. And uh, it saves some time, that's for sure. Uh, speaking of metal, a little while ago, let's go ahead and see where we're at. With how much metal we've collected so far in the last couple hours. Not too much, 235. I did, uh, like I said, turn down the resource respawn. Um, I don't know if it's an interval or whatever it's called. So we're not getting quite as much metal as we were here. But that's kind of why I picked this location, so I could get easy access to metal. We do... I'm going to go ahead and craft up some uh, turrets while we're at it here. While we're waiting for these things to to breed. So let's go ahead and do that. What about heavies? Do we have heavies? I mean, we have heavies, but we have 50 polymer, 200 electronics, 400 metal. I think I want to craft one heavy for the base here. So let's pull the resources for that. I think we'll be able to do it. Uh, oh, we have to use an auto turret. I didn't know that. Okay. So we got to build one of those first. And then I guess we got to use that to craft a heavy. That is expensive. All right. Let's grab that sucker. We'll put, the, oop, put that guy in the rough. And then we'll see how much electronics and stuff we can make. Or, whoa. How, how did I just do that? That was awesome. Whoa. I'm used to coming around the corner here. And uh, being just fine. <laughs> All right, let's get up here. I think we'll put the heavy over here on the very edge. I've never built, I've never employed a heavy before. Turn that guy on. Let's see if I can. Now nah, let's just craft up some new bullets for that. So I think a heavy shoots four bullets at a time, so it's like having four turrets. Okay, so we're going to need to make some bullets. Let's craft up and uh, let's see. Let's pull enough to make 50 for right now. Clamp that, pull resources, 100. And I think we're going to need to craft up some more electronics. So I got a ton of pearls, so we can do that. Let's grab a stack of metal ingots. So we got a tons of metal. <laughs> Pretty happy about that. So let's craft that up. Grayson, hello. How are you doing? Good to have you along. All right. So we're doing uh, electronics. Yeah, we'll just spam all those electronics. That's good. 500 electronics will do us pretty well for a while. I don't know why I'm carrying this stuff manually. That's the whole reason why we have automated arc here on the server. So I don't have to do that stuff. But we did it anyway. Okay, so we're doing well there. With the way things are, I don't even know if I need to bring an build another turret array. I think I'm going to do it anyway. We'll just build a small one. We're going to build that out of metal. I think I have some metal foundations and whatnot somewhere. Let's look at that situation. Metal, not metal. There we go. So we pick this stuff up in drops. We can do grab four of those. Um, we'll bring a thing out there so we can have a drink out there that's nice and bring these walls and this thing 
that guy. I think that should do pretty well. Cementing paste is very helpful, but I'm good. Good. Oh, here we go. 190. What did we get? So we got 29 melee on this guy, 38 oxygen, uh, 35 health. So that's not too bad. Um, let's see what else we got here. You're not so great, but you're a fire. You're a lightning. Okay. 35, 36 food, 26 health. Not so great. Um, we are going to go ahead and claim all these guys, though. I don't know if we're going to do much with them right now. So what do we got going on here? All right. That's pretty good. They're all pretty cool looking. I like, well, even you're not so bad. They're kind of cool looking. At. All right. So I think we're going to get started with crafting up or building this place. Even though we got another storm coming in, I think. Is this an electrical storm? I'm not sure. I don't know if Hank's around, but I think, uh, Hank, if you wanted to add a couple of uh, Plant Species X um, over here, that would be great. I've got tons of fertilizer now because i got dung beetles. So I can definitely, uh, definitely do the dung beetle thing. We just got to find a good spot to put this thing up here. I think right here would be great. I'm not sure if we can build over the top of the trench. We're going to find out in a minute, I guess. But we also want this thing to kill wyverns so we can pick up the uh, the talons. So if we put it right on top, the talons are going to fall down there, and that might not be so great. But if we build here, then we're going to know it's nearby. What level is this thing? Let's see. I haven't really fought many of these things. Let's see if it wakes up. Oh, it's dead. Try this dude. Oh. Oh, now I can't fight. Bull. There. We got him. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good spot. So let's get this going. We're gonna have to build turrets and all that kind of stuff here too, but uh, let's build it up here on the sand just a little bit so we got a little elevation on the high ground here. As far as I know, wyverns whoops, wyverns can't destroy adobe either. So we could build this out of adobe, but I thought I had one more. Maybe not. All right. Uh, I'll do that. I think we'll have to make a few foundations, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And then oh, that's walls. I don't need any more of those at this time. I don't want to enclose this because as soon as I do, it's going to start cooking me alive, which isn't the greatest. Come on, get up there. There we go. That's a perfect amount. Okay. Uh, well, what the heck? Let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, uh. There we are. We'll just try not to go inside. <laughs> All right. Any day now. All right. It's not finding the right one here. And then we'll make you the door. There we are. We'll do this. And then we'll put this guy outside. We don't need a foundation, right? So eventually it'll get some water. Let's just see how bad it is if we walk in here. Yeah, we're already cooking alive. So let's uh, let's leave that open for right now. In case anybody wants to come in here and bake. All right. So we're going to need to... Why are we so slow? There we go. Uh, we'll need to make a couple of turrets, and then, uh-oh, server was probably auto-saving there. 
Uh, we're going to need to make a couple of turrets and a generator. And see what we see how our babies are doing. Got a great pair. Got the melee on the male and HP on the female. Yeah, so we're going to be able to combine some good stuff. Um, that's good. Yeah, like I'm not really wasn't 100% sure. It's been so long since I. You know, I was never really good at breeding, so I really haven't gotten into it until ASA. So, um, certainly did a bunch of it in ASC, but I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So I'm not really sure what good stats are on Wyvern. So it's good to hear, Michael, that I got some good stats. Anybody hatch out since we've been gone? Oh, no. Fire. Ugh. Where did all you, where, do we have like quadruplets over here? No. All right, so I need to put this back up. Oh, we need water. There we go. Stuck. All right, so we're going to have to move foundations and fix those guys. And I forget exactly what we want here uh, with the parents. What? Who are we breeding and why? <laughs> uh, I should, I'm getting involved in too many things at once again. It should be in 100% wind. Okay. I should probably have one anyway as a backup anyway. Um, so we got 46 stamina on this dude. We got 54 health and 40. So basically we're looking for a female with 40 melee. It's basically what we want out of here. Because we should have the good stats on everybody. And these 240s should be good as long as they don't have mutations on them. Well, there was a 240 in here, wasn't it? There it is. But you're a male. And you are a female. Oh, perfect. So, yep, 40, 40. And then, actually, I don't think... I think I only need one of these. So let's unfollow you. Do I have meat on me? I do. Let's get you some food. You some food. Because I have, like, a big... I have a weight guy in here somewhere, right? Where's my Argentavis? Is this 54 health? Yeah, 53 weight male. So we really only need that female? Yeah, we only really need the female. Okay. So that's good. Alright, let's free up this wyvern. There he is. Alright. Oh, we got 33 melee on this guy. That's not too bad. Keep that dude, and then we got an Argentavis down there. I don't really care. Bunch of 240 Argentavises. I don't really care right now. So that we should be good with Argentavises. And you just have to wait for these guys to hatch out. So these were, were these all lightnings? Yeah, these are all lightnings. 35 health, 26 health. 26 health. So you got 35 melee, right? Yeah. So that's a good one. All right, cool. This one's got 30 weight, too. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. This one's got 32 weight. Oh, you got 35 weight. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is pretty good. So we'll definitely breed those two. We might end up with something better with these other guys because there's another 190 to hatch out there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead then and craft up the wind turbine. Uh, which I think actually is this way. Hank says wind turbine, and I think he's right. Maybe we can't. Do we have to craft that on our person? How does that work? Did I not learn it? I'm pretty darn sure I learned this stuff. Oh, I probably just... I just need to type in wind. I think that's the thing. There we go. So that's this one. Reduces fuel consumption and heat damage in nearby gas generators. Works at low wind speeds, but is more effective at higher. So that is just going... That's not the one we want. We want the old standard one. There it is. So... Converts the force of wind into electricity. Also reduces fuel consumption and heat damage of nearby gas generators. Okay. So definitely want one of those. And I think we're going to buy or build a, just a regular old a regular old generator too. Actually, I do need a turret genie. Did I not learn? Oh, generators are made. 
Um, thought generators were made in here. I guess not. They must be made in the fabricator. Kind of weird. Some of the AA stuff is made elsewhere. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just in case. Just to cover our butts. All right. So we got... So we just need actual turrets now. So I think I'm going to do four regular turrets. Um, yeah, let's do four regulars. And then we'll do maybe four plant species X. See how that goes. I'm not sure. Okay, we can craft four. Excellent. And then I think we still might need some more bullets. That's a good start. Oops. Let's grab those dudes. And let's craft up 50 of those guys if we can. We might be getting low on gunpowder. Nope. All right. Did we have some more hatches going on? We did. So, what do we got? 170 lightning. I don't think this one... Oh, 41 health. Hello. Thank you. So, that's good. That's really good. Uh, this is the 190, 33 melee. I think this isn't as good as that one. Yeah, this 190 kind of stinks. I don't know if I'm going to bother even imprinting on that. So we got a poison baby, 30 weight, 30 health. It's our best poison for now, so we're definitely going to hold on to this one. I think the other thing we're going to need to do is make cryos. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to need to make cryos. And this one, this 150 fire is almost hatched out. So we're just going to leave this one. It just seems like such a shame. Uh, to do this, to not have it, but it's, so this is the 180 that has much better health than melee. And yeah, I guess we don't need it. I could actually raise it and give it to somebody if they wanted it, I suppose. Why don't I do that? See if anybody wants this thing as a gift. Uh, so we'll just rename it gift. But we definitely have to get into cryos. Now we're now we're in a spot where we definitely want cryopods. With all these babies and stuff we got going on. All that cannon fodder that we got. I don't think I've learned cryos since I did the last mind wipe. So, no, we did. Uh, we might need to run for some crystal. Might be low on that. But that's not too bad. And some oil. So let's see what we can do with the cryo situation. Uh, here, let's pull enough for 50. And what are we losing on this end of the deal? Hide. Oh, we really low on hide? Kind of makes sense. Add hide in one of these vaults. Yeah, we're out of freaking hide. Oh, well. But uh, we got ourselves a cryo fridge, right? So... Let's get that out and get these cryopods charged up and organized and all that good stuff. We'll put that, hide that over here for now. All right. So, put those in there. Let's grab all our other cryopods that we got hiding around here. Get these charged up safe place. I think I got some empties in here. There we go. Those we, cra those we crafted up on the island and brought over. Yeah, I'm really happy with uh, with our wyvern hatching so far. We got one left to check out here when it hatches. In one minute. So before we go grab our oil and stuff um, and some crystal We'll wait for that guy to hatch, and I gotta use the facility, so I will be right back, guys.
we're back. Oh, there's the baby fire. What did we get here? Not too bad. Pretty good stamina. So we'll definitely keep this dude. All right. So that's good. All right. So let's make our way. Oh, let's check these babies out food-wise. They'll probably be fine, but let's grab them some food anyway. Oh, I don't have to. Okay, slow down. <laughs> the base is looking different now, so I've got to pay attention to what I'm doing. So let's grab a stack for each of these. Is there just Argentavis down there? Okay. Grab a stack for each of these guys. And we'll put this in here. And let's drop off the stuff we crafted up. And, uh, yeah, I'm really losing my bearings as to where I am right now. Do that. Got the generator. Got that. Okay. We're going to put that stuff back. And I want my wyvern. I'll take that guy over there. Do have everything. Yeah, it is a bummer that that 190 came out with like crazy stats. Uh, hold on a second. Do. -do. There we go. Had to get rid of those clouds. Really stinks when you can't see right in front of your face in this game. Okay, so our array is over here, or will be. I think I'm going to just drop this stuff off real quick. And I want to put the guns up a little higher because right now they're pretty, pretty low. Okay. I don't know if I need... Is that or some ruins? That's some ruins over there. Why the terror bird look like a gigantoraptor? I don't know. All right, so we're gonna put down our wind turbine first. Do we have like a little bit of a flat ground? Uh, it kind of stinks. Did I accidentally? Did I bring any foundations? Okay, we got. Let's do the. Uh, this instead just so it's flat I will replace these with metal just to be on the cautious side but at least my wind turbine is now set okay very good and then let's get these guys up here oh bummer it's got any water in it it does filled up with water not sure where it came from must have been a storm, I guess. So we'll just get this set up, but I think I'll come back and I'll put these turrets on pillars so that they can... It'll be a little bit better if they're up on pillars, I think. So let's see. We are all powered here. And we're just going to do this manually for right now. Killing everything over here. Okay. Let's put this out here for now. Turret genie. And then we're going to go ahead and set this thing up. Even though we don't really need it. And get out of here before it kills me. There we go. Just gonna leave the door open for right now. And anything else I needed to drop off here? Not really. Okay, so let's go get let's go get our oil. Slingshot, Theory Master has retracted the message. Well, hello, uh, Slingshot. Ugh. Well, that's cool. I'm glad we got that thing all set up. Definitely going to have to build some more bullets, but we need some oil. Need some oil and crystal to make cryos because I think some of those babies I'm not going to raise up right now. We're just going to save them for later. And I got to look at the map and see if I'm heading in the right direction. I believe I am. Go buzz by Hank's base here. Yeah. 
Du, du, du. Where? I think I'm going a little too far north. We'll find out in a second here. Even this 90 that I have is actually not too bad. No, that is exactly where I want to go. Right there with that weird tower. Maybe cover side so only aim up and you spare a spare ammo and the wyvern up and sky anyway. Yeah, that's not too bad of an idea. I like that. I don't think it's going to be too hard for me to craft a ton of ammo. I have, un right now I have basically unlimited metal and uh, the chainsaw gets so much wood that it's so easy to make charcoal. Um, there's a, there's some weird settings. Ooh, a beaver saddle. I'm just kind of kidding because there's no beavers on this map. Did I land on a thorny dragon, I guess? Oh, Jesus. All right. Bradley, hello. Um, I just uh, set turrets on everything, I think. Because it's PvE, so I don't think they'll attack players. Although they might, I guess, just waste ammo on players. Do they do that, Trav? I'm not really sure. Okay, I think that is my uh, oil pump I put down here this morning. So I'm curious to see how much oil we've collected. Tons of oil. Cool. I make a trip here. <laughs> I make about four more trips. I'll probably have all the oil I need for this map, too. Uh, Reaper. Um, no, we're playing on, uh, uh, we're playing on our, uh, doo -doo 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 community server here. So we've got, uh, PVE. We're playing with, I think a total of seven mods. Most of them are just sort of quality of life stuff. Um, but it includes the two of those are what the Gigantoraptor. So we can have it here. And also the uh, Dear Jane notes. So those are on here. So those are loaded as mods for right now. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're interested in uh, checking it out, there's a link in the description. So it's a cluster with the island and Scorched Earth. We're going to retire Scorched Earth on June 30th. Um, so for a while, we'll be running three maps. So we'll be running the island, the center, if it comes out on June 3rd when they say and uh, Scorched Earth for a little bit. So that's kind of how we're going to do it, is we're going to have the island as our main map, and then we'll rotate in uh, the new maps as they become available. That's the plan. Green Bean says I can uh, raid her oil rigs as well. Okay. Well, I'll probably do that the next time. I'll have enough for right now, but when I come back tomorrow, and I'm full of weight anyway with what I just picked up, um... One of these guys, I think, will probably start just pumping uh, the wyverns that we got that I'm, don't have great stats. We're probably just going to pump into weight so that we have... What is going on down here? It must be one of Hank's. Oh, no, it's Sam's. Okay. Just got a wyvern chilling out down there, maybe. Uh, anyway, um, so, yeah, we're going to start putting one of these guys into weight here. So it's getting pretty crazy over here. So we're going to have a lot of stuff to do here. A lot of building, a lot of fixing this area. <laughs> All right, let's see how we're doing. How long is it going to be until we need to care for these guys? So 16 minutes on the first batch. And I th was, were you the last one? So you're going to be 27 minutes. Okay. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and craft up those cryos. Drop off this oil. Uh, oh, let's take some of the oil. We need to make... Um, let's 
some gasoline as well. So let's uh, do that real quick here. Not sure how much hide we have. What's our ratio? Okay. Uh, one more stack of oil. Do it. Oh, we need hide too. That was the other thing that we require around here. So we might need to go collect some meat anyway for our babies. They're going to use up a lot. And we're going to make cryos over here. So, let's do that. Cryo. Empty cryopods. You do need oil. And the hide was the thing. Okay. So I guess we uh, we might have to set up for some hide, though. Uh, like the last time we did phylas, and that was really good for hide. So we might have to do something similar. But let's go see what this guy can do. The health on this thing is not great. So uh, we've got to be pretty careful about going into this kind of horrible situation. Before you know it, you're out of stam. You're out of stam and then real trouble. I've already used a third of my stam with the one blast. Uh, one blast of the lightning. We're just going to avoid... I think we're just going to leave those vultures alone completely. I think that would be the uh, smart thing to do there. There we go. Chainsaw for hide. You are correct. I should be using my chainsaw. Let's go get that. That will be much more effective. Thank you for the reminder. There we go. So reluctant to... How do I get rid of this? I forget. Eh, I'll figure it out later. Alright. So, I do have some hide to drop off. Gonna have to put these wyverns outside and stuff in a little bit, I think. Okay. So, we did get a little bit of hide there. Um, what am I doing? Cryos. Only five. Okay. So we'll do that. And we'll grab our chainsaw, which I'm pretty sure I put over here. There it is. And we got some gasoline. There'll be plenty of gasoline for the chainsaw. All right. So let's disable resource harvesting on this guy then. Look for some solo creatures rather than trying to attack a big group of them. I don't know what this guy is trying to kill. What he thinks he's doing here. There we go. Let's see how this chainsaw works. I've used it for getting chitin and it's just out and wood and everything else, and it's absolutely amazing. Come on. There we go. All right, let's see what we did. Uh, almost 400 hides, so that's definitely better than the bird or the wyvern here. Here, toast. So I have to be careful that I don't dismount while the wyvern is still blasting with its lightning breath because... I will die instantly, basically. <laughs> All right, so we're getting lots of meat to let's drop meat, drop that over there. And oh, we got a lot of points in this guy here. Let's get him up to a little bit of weight and some stamina, I think. What are you doing down there, buddy? Let's see, wait for it. There we go. Now it's safe. Look at all this metal around here, Bone Dust. 
pretty crazy. There we go. Got to go up around this way. Ooh, I barely got any water. So we'll have to go back for some water in a minute. Yeah, it's a good way to get some... Good way to get some hide. Breed high level sheep, level up HP, kill and chainsaw. Good way to get some mutton too, right? There we go. Yeah, it... It is just too crazy around here, I gotta say. Alright, so let's drop off this meat into our grill. Pretty good. Let's grab as much cooked wheat meat as we can. Apparently all of it. There we go. And I need my gasoline back. So let's get this in here. Okay, so they're juveniles now, so they should be feeding off the troth. As I recall. So babies only eat the uh, wyvern milk. But since we've got such fast maturity rates in here, we don't really need it. The thing we really need it for is uh, imprinting. And then it's got some good properties um, to take uh, for yourself, actually. So we might still want to build a trap for wyvern. Uh, let's drop this off here. I don't need those. Okay. Uh, it's gonna need your. You're gonna need your pearls if you don't get an anglerfish. Yeah. I got that anglerfish, and we got at the uh, blue ob there. We got nine thousand. Got nine thousand pearls in about two minutes. Whereas if I was picking them up by hand, I got. I don't know, four or five hundred in like five minutes. So it was worth going back to the island to grab that guy. I don't know why I grabbed this guy, speaking of which. Okay. So while I wait here, uh, we can start cleaning up some of these guys, actually. So I built a bunch of cryos. Did I actually bring them back with me? Yeah, this is just getting crazy. Okay, for the next live stream, I'm going to have this <laughs> cleaned up, guys. So you won't have to watch me struggle uh, going around all my crafting stations and stuff. Okay, so let's grab these cryos. And then what do we need for cryos? Because we're going to need more than five. Let's pull the resources. How many can we make? One. What are we running low on? Fiber. Okay. That's really easy to take care of. Because uh, it got a sickle. Somewhere. Do I? I don't like all these words on here. That's what I got to figure out how to turn off. Go. Get this out of here. We got to do some landscaping around here anyway. There we go. A little too shabby right out here. Sorry there, Egbert. Oh, and speaking of Egbert here, can put you back on fertilize. There we go. It's got a super heat event, but I'm doing all right so far. Okay. So I got myself a little bit of fiber. So let's make as many cryos as we can with that. 17. That's a good start. And then let's put the rest of this fiber in here. All right. Uh, up in the inventory, because this gives me the tool tips, which I like. Is it custom cosmetics, auto stack, new folder? I forget what it does. Is it up here? No. I, I must have hit something, and then it did it. So sort by alphabetical. Unsort? No. 
Alphabetical, new folder. Is there a folder view? No. Custom cosmetic. I don't know what I did. It's here somewhere. I might it might be a button that I hit also a key or something. I'll look it up later unless somebody knows it's not a not a big deal. Um cryo. So I'm gonna go cryo these guys because I don't need these breeders anymore. And let's do that. Get you in a cryopod. Actually, I wanted your saddle. There we go. So that's good. Get these guys out of here. So happy with that. Push Q while I'm in the inventory. Aha! And some Hank for the win. There we go. I must have accidentally hit Q while I was in the inventory. All right, so what am I doing with these guys here? I don't really need those. All right, let's go take a look at the wyverns we're not particularly interested in, and we're going to cryo those for temporary. So one was gift, right? Thought I named one gift. Who is the gift? You got 41 health. I think that's the best. Thought I needed one gift. Huh. Anyway. So 35 health. I think you... Which one are you? So you're lightning with 41. And the best you had was 35. So I think you're pretty much... Uh, something we're not going to use anymore. So let's get you in the cryo. And then let's look up you. So you were, you're not so great either. But you are 41 health, and then you're a male too, unfortunately. But you had 35 melee and 35, ugh. I hate doing this on screen because I always going to make some dumb mistake. So we might actually need you. Let's take this, take a look at this again. Okay, I guess you're going to need to go outside now. That's okay. Eh, this is just too messy around here. It's driving me nuts now. <laughs> Where are you going off to? Okay, you only had 25. And you're a male. So we, we don't need you. You're 30 weight, though. You're 35 weight. So you're a good male. Low health, though. All right. I'm just going to call you good mail so I don't forget. We'll just write it down. That'll be better. So we got uh, 35 melee. And the other thing is 35 weight. I don't know if we had anything better than that. Okay. So you... Are the forty one everything sucks on you I think except for except for the health. So let's rename you forty one health. So that's pretty good. So do you have any redeeming qualities other than that you're a female? Because it looks like we're definitely gonna need you just because you're the only female. I thought we had another one. Oh there you are. There's a gift. Gift is another male, right? Yeah. So it's not bad, but it's just that we have better stuff elsewhere. So let's uh, cryo gift. So if anybody on the server wants this guy, let me know. There we are. Okay. So poison wyvern, I think we're just going to we're gonna cryo you right now. Because we're not really sure. We don't have a mate for either of you guys. So there's no real reason to grow you up at this point. So these are going to be our starter breeders. But we're also going to keep an eye out for better stuff. But we might as well start breeding those. Because they do have some good stats. And where did I hide my... There it is. Alright. Get all those guys in there. Good. 
And these are going to be my new, well, actually only one of these we're going to be using for breeding purposes. So I'm kind of curious with this male here, are we just going to, what's the weight on you, 37? Yeah, you're not really going to be used for anything. I think you're just going to be another another fodder uh, Argentavis. So this is the only one we want. Uh, we did have two 40s. Are these males or females? No, they're, they're all males. So they're not doing any good. This was a bad idea, I think. I don't think I can get out of here. Oh, well. All right, let's put that. Well, let's get this female out of here. Which I don't have cryos. Okay. Yeah, definitely got to sort things out here. All right, so we should have a bunch of cryos in here. Yep. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this Argentavis male. Get him out of here. And this female, we're just going to get out of the hole. That should be good. There. Good deal. All right, let's seal these guys back in here. There we are. And do we... I guess that was a ceiling, so I could put that there. That's why we had two, so we're going to make two more of those. Oh, we got... Got some requests here. We have a request for cuddling. Perfect, 100%. And want to go for a walk. So do we want to... I think we want to do the walk because we can reset it. But if it resets it to wyvern milk, then we're kind of in trouble here. Oh, you're a baby fire wyvern. 150. I forgot I had a fire. Oh, well. Why did I cry? Why did I cry? Oh, you, you're, I'm not sure what I just did just now. Oh, I cry out you cause you were outside, but or no, I'm confusing myself. <sighs> oh, I wanted to go on a walk. Sorry guys. I am not really paying that much attention to what the heck is going on. So let's see if we can get this guy to follow us. It's always kind of a pain with these guys. Let's see what happens. Other thing we're going to have to do today is craft up a bunch more ammo. I don't... I think I just saw some poop come out of the sky, but nothing flew by. All right, is that guy following me? He's stuck. Oh, I guess I missed. That was you. Boy. There, now he's following me. <laughs> it gets to be a lot when you have several things breeding all at once. Yeah, it sure does. I got Argentavises. I stopped the Ankies, but I want to work on those as well. And then I've got... I mean, especially with the wyverns, it seems like you're breeding only one thing, but there's three varieties. So it's basically like you've got three species. So there's three, and then the Argents, I'm doing four at a time, and I'm doing it in a very disorganized place right now. And I don't see him moving again. Pretty sure I didn't hit unfollow, but maybe it's... Yeah, he's just going a weird way. All right, let's go this way. Whoa. Man, this frame rate sucks. Sorry if it's a little choppy for you guys. <laughs> yeah, wyverns take up a ton of space. There we go. We got the imprint. Nice. Look at that. He's so happy. 
So we got it rigged here too, where we get a lot of imprints. So there's we only got to do one imprint on every creature, which is which is really nice. Okay, so you guys are doing fine. I am just gonna put this fire away. We're not gonna think about fire wyverns right now. We're gonna keep looking for better eggs, I think, also with the fires. So let's get him put away. And then this guy, I think, I think we're gonna put him away as well, just to kind of clear things up. We're just gonna go with what we think we're gonna have for breeders. Oh my gosh. There we go. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So we just have Okay, there's the one, and the one outside is the other, our other breeder, but it doesn't fit in here anymore. And what do you need? You're going to need in five. I figure I might as well, I'm going to use these for breeding right now, but I figure I might as well imprint them just in case I want to use them later. Uh, did the resource respawn distance get fixed with today's restart? I don't know. It should be fixed. Um, my resources, so I had... Um, rocks show up in my building but they may have respawned before the reset so it should be fixed let me check on that real quick guys to see if it actually changed when Let's see if I can actually get into my um, server account over here there we go we actually got in so that's good let me do this real quick guys um, do 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 Got to go to other server. So the resource respawn interval changed, and it seems to have changed the frequency of the storms as well. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't, like, don't use a stopwatch or whatever. But So sorry for this pause here, but I am just checking this stuff out because I want to check into it before I forget about it. I often do that. Okay, so let me... Uh, okay, spot through here. Yes, so it actually did take effect. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's not... It's still set a little bit closer, but yeah, let me know how it works over on your end of things. Um, I guess tomorrow will be the first full day to know exactly if it worked or not. I can set it a little bit further. Okay, so the lightnings are going good. Um, what else did I want to do? Uh, we need to craft up a bunch more bullets for our thing. I may have crafted some already. There's 200. Oops. Just grab those manually here. Let's... Get that crafting here. Bullets. Let's see if I can... Looks like I'm a little bit stuck. We probably need some more gunpowder. Or, er, yeah, charcoal is what I'm thinking. All right, let's grab as much wood as we can. As our little body will carry. There we go. Can I move? I'm moving fast enough. Let's get that in the forge. We'll fire that sucker up. I'll check when you get on this evening. Sounds good. I can check right now. After I get this in here. See what it looks like at your base. Alright. Fire that up. So we'll get some more charcoal. Let's go take a look at Hank. I'm not sure what his situation is. Here we go. You got trees growing inside your base, basically, so I'm guessing it didn't work. Let me cut these down. And if you want them to come back, I'll give you some re-fertilizer. If, <laughs> if you actually wanted those there. <laughs> and they'll come back. Alright, so let's munch these trees down. I think I can. There we go. And if you log back in and they're re-sprouted, then I'll have to mess with that setting a little bit more. There we go. Thunderdog. Hi, how you doing? 
Welcome. Welcome to my live stream. Playing some Ark Survival Ascended here on Scorched Earth. Doing some PvE stuff. Alright. So I need to grab that charcoal now. It should all be charcoaled up. Ugh. I don't even know why I have these guys. They're going to be completely useless for me. Okay. There we are. These little rain showers I can. Yeah, so if that doesn't work, then I can, uh, like I said, I can fix that for tomorrow. If you log in today and all those things are respawned in there. Okay, so that's a bunch. Let's put away these cryos that have creatures in them. That little gerbo is chirping away. Stop hitting the dinos. Yeah, I probably should stop hitting the dinos here. It's just cruel and unusual. Just checking Twitch to make sure that's still alive. Looks like it is. That's good. All right. So we just got 90 here. Let's move that gunpowder around. Craft up some more of that stuff. There we go. And some more ammo. Perfect. Other thing I need actually is some crop plots because Hank says he's got some plant species X and I can make some crop plots here and set those up. Is this medium? I need large, I guess. They have not learned that yet. Lard? Need to make some lard. There we go. So I think I just want to do four of those guys. This is large, right? Yes. So I'll just craft up four of those guys. Hank, I'll show you a reason why you might want to keep trees in your uh, base, though. I don't know if you if you know this. So I've had this one respawn since I've been playing. So you can go over here to your chainsaw. So there's 379 wood. Let's go to this guy. I'm overburdened. And just keep going. Okay, so I got 1,900 wood. And then I just do this. And the vacuum picks it all up. And I can just keep going to tree to tree. And I'll never really need to do much other than that. So I can, <laughs> I can get, every time I log in, I can get like uh, 5,000 wood in a couple minutes and uh, not have to carry it around. Oh, we got another imprint to do over here. And then that should be the last imprint we need to do on these guys. Uh, walk with you. Ah, uh, poop. That wasn't too bad with the last one, so hopefully this will work out pretty well. There we are. Okay, follow me, sir. Oh, great. Another storm. Sandstorm to my favorite. Why did you stop, buddy? There we go. Got you fully imprinted. All right. Let's unfollow. Let's just make sure the feeding trough is on you. I don't see the little icon, so let's get you closer to base. What about you? I don't see it on you either. You should definitely be close enough. But... Let's just get him over here. 
Oh, there it is. Why is it red? I think it just does that. Definitely want to make sure you guys are getting food. Now my FPS is 36. Thank you, Storms. Yeah. You should be fine. And it wants to go on a walk, but we're at 100% imprinting, so we're just fine. We don't have to worry about that. I wouldn't call that a glitch necessarily, but it's just a weird thing that happens. Let's close this up. Okay. So, I need food. Let's actually go out and get just a stack of meat here so that I don't have to worry about it. Oh, we're running low on meat. That's good to know. Uh, you think it's the pioneer skin that pushes, pushes your uh, FPS over the edge? That would be kind of weird, but it really wouldn't surprise me given how weird this game is with that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've got all that. Let's grab fertilizer and let's craft up one of these things. Um, over by the turrets. There we go. We're going to have to wait a minute before we head over there, though. No, no, no reason to head out in this storm. Okay, so that's the poop thing. Oh, that'll be over here. Is it poop thing? What is it? Compost bin. That's fertilizer. There it is. All right. So there's some ammo for that. Did we build some more? So we'll grab this ammo. And then have some water. And as soon as the storm blows over, we'll fill up our inventory with fertilizer and head over to our target array. We shouldn't need to irrigate it. It should be irrigated with just that. Just that thing there, the water tank, the reservoir. Got art yet yesterday? Ah, gotcha. You bought art yesterday. Got it. How are you liking it so far? Yep, anyone can join the, the server if you're on Xbox, PlayStation, or uh, the other uh, PC. That's where I'm playing right now. But yeah, anybody can play on this server. If you got Ark Survival Ascended, should be good to go. All right, what is happening? Uh, let's see. Could be crazy and need meds, but I think it contr uh, contributes to it. Before I skinned the base, it was, wasn't was such an issue. Oh, okay, so you skinned the base with the different... Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. That could be it. That could be it. I need to build some ladders, too, actually, I think. Okay, storm's over, but let's get some ladders. We're going to build... Go ahead and build metal ones right away. Pretty sure I'm going to have to learn that, though. So... go. Build out a metal just to do something different. Maybe it's maybe it's all the creatures at my base right now. That's too many ladders. That's fine. Yeah, search for fat frog, but uh, you need a space, I think, in fat frog, don't you? Or you can search for frog, and you should, it'll It'll come up. Be, there's several froggy servers out there. I think ours is the most popular of the frog servers. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we should be good. And uh, let's just top off all that fertilizer that we can carry, I think. There we are. Hopefully I didn't need anything else. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. I don't know what I want to call you, but I can't have you have no name. Uh, I don't know. Starter Blaster. Okay, we got the weight. Head out. 
So anyway, Hank, I'm going to put uh, the fertilizer in these things. I think you should still be able to access them. I'm not sure. If not, oh, I should put a little box or something over here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll do that in a little while. But anyway, uh, you could put the plant species X seed in my, I've outside my front side door there, I've got a, uh, a wooden chest and you can just put stuff in there if you want. So where do I want to put these? Do I want to put these up here? I think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to put them out front. What the heck? Let's put them right on the ground. I did bring the crop plots, didn't I not? Yes, there they are. We're just, we'll put one off to the side here. So we can kind of shoot around the back a little bit. One here, one here, and apparently one on top of the other one. There we go. One here. There we go. Let's see, did these get irrigated? They are irrigated a little bit. What's the water like over here? So it should fill up in a minute. Let's try not to be in here too long. Now yeah, let's move this. We're gonna set this down right. Yeah, we're dying in here. Now, I told everybody, basically building in metal and staying metal is fatal. And that's what's happening here. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so fill crops, there we go. See, look at that. I lost, what, 15% of my health in that little time that I was in there? Okay, so this here is very slowly getting irrigated. But they are getting irrigated, so that's good. Not me, hello. Wyvern really looks really cool. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool also. I think it's because it hatched during the Easter colors. But I don't know. I really like it. Sometimes wyverns can be pretty cool. So let's do this. Put our bullets in here. And then turn that on, I guess. Uh, turn on turrets. Turn on uh, fill turrets. There we go. So that should take care of that. We will put these on towers, I think, later on. Uh, let's go see if we can test this out with the wyvern. See if we can find it. Um, if you put air conditioners in, it does work. I think you need a lot of air conditioners. Uh-oh. I just tried it uh, once on Scorched Earth, and I had to be, like, right next to the air conditioner on uh, Ark Survival Evolved. All right, let's grab this guy, and hopefully there's a wyvern in the neighborhood that will follow us after we grab this guy anybody around hello anyone home anyone in this trench I gotta say it has not been that exciting <laughs> Getting eggs, wyvern eggs, at least on our server. Um, and you have to check and make sure that you're looking for password protected servers. If you're searching for my uh, this server. Okay, still no wyverns, but I mean, might as well pick up these eggs. We're right here, right? I've gotten a lot of eggs today. All right, anybody home? Might have saw a wing beat down that way. I think we'll test that out after we come out of here. We'll we'll build an air conditioner and see if that helps. Oh, I think I see one. Finally, what is it? 170 lightning. This could be fatal for us. Missed it. It's mad though. Here it comes. It's not going to be fatal for this lightning wyvern because it's immune to the fire uh, lightning breath. As long as 
we don't get stuck on this cliff face here. There we are. It's actually kind of handy leaving this. I didn't even know I turned that on to see what the... Look, it just took off. <laughs> What's the point of it? Come on. Where are you going? Oh, there was a bug where they... Didn't they, like, all go to, like, 50-50 or something? There was, like, a, a bug with these guys and Quetzals. I don't know. Is that still a thing? Whoa! Don't hit me! Oh, that was lucky. It seems like they don't want to travel very far out of the trench. Okay. Let's get in here. Are you going to turn around? That'll be interesting if it turns around. See, we need to be a little higher. Why are they not shooting? <laughs> yeah, they definitely need to go higher. Yeah, okay. So we'll definitely do that later. <laughs> and it's just flying away. <laughs> Stupid thing. Uh, yeah, passwords, frogs, swamp. All that stuff should be in the description. Yep. Do, do, do. Yeah, so at least on YouTube anyway. Not so much on uh, Twitch. By the way, hello everyone on Twitch. I haven't forgotten about you. Um, hello and everyone in chat. And also, it's always great to... Uh, I always appreciate all you lurkers who don't uh, who don't type in chat, but uh, thank you for watching. And also, but if you're able, uh, drop a like on YouTube. That does help me uh, quite a bit, as well as the follows on Twitch. So thank you for all those. All right. So we're in pretty good shape here, but we're going to need to make some, uh, some pillars. So let's do some metal pillars. Because that situation's kind of useless right now. With those guns being so low. And then also, I think I want to put one gun, like, far forward. So that... How many can we craft up here? I don't think we're going to need 35. Probably... Let's do 4. So 4 times 4, 16. And then we're going to need some ceilings also. Just need. Guess I didn't learn metal ceilings. But yeah, but I do appreciate everyone's support. So let's do full ceilings here. And yeah, we'll just do four of those guys. One more. There we go. Yeah, we got a pretty chill group here. Hey, Thunderdog, I see you got onto the server. Welcome aboard. All right. So, I'll just say hello in there, too. Okay, so we got that, and then I want to build one, want to craft up one more uh, thing. Turret, that is. So, just need to do one of those. If I have enough stuff. What am I low on? Poly and cementing paste. All right. So we're going to... Okay. I guess we'll just put one forward for right now. And then where are we at? I didn't bring the pillars with me. There we are. Uh... Let's see. Okay. Uh, Thunderdog, I am not going to be able to help you right now. A little busy, but someone else on the server might be able to give you a hand. What do you need a hand with? Uh, chased by a raptor. Yeah, that's. it's going to be a very tough start.
Yeah, everybody's having, um, I think everyone I know is having problems with the egg crate right now. Um, a few weeks ago, it was kind of half working. And now I don't think uh, it's working at all for um, for fertilized. At least it's still it seems to be working for the uh, for the unfertilized guys, but fertilized not so much. Okay, so let's just uh, we got a ladder here, so let's put a ladder up here. Do that for right now. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is we're going to put, I guess I didn't need four because we're just going to build another s set of ceilings straight across. That's plenty adequate. We don't need to go higher than that. So let's do, can I put one in the middle? There we go. We're killing a lot of stuff. There we are. All right, so we'll put our ladder all the way up there. Did that get to the, oh. I guess we will have to move that stuff around a little bit. I don't know if I can pick up a ceiling from this position. Oh, sweet, again. All right, so. Can I not snap it to there, though? Hmm. I just need to get up over... Oh, okay, that worked. I think this is plenty high. Yeah. So let's just... Except I kind of screwed myself a little bit here. All right, we'll just use this dude. Not that much of a problem. Yeah. This map is really hard to start out with if you're a brand new player. All right, so let's grab this. Grab you. Oh, I forgot to get air conditioners. I will try that out though. We will bring, we will come back and get the air conditioners. So hopefully, if these things are up a little higher, they won't shoot so many, you know, oil bugs and stuff like that. I think it's they're still going to blast a lot. There we go. So I think first two we'll put off to the edge. So it's probably still going to shoot stuff. And then the middle two, we'll put in them actually in the middle here. And then maybe that will be a little bit better. So we're going to do high um, change from Norwar. Okay, so we're going to do just only wild creatures. Then we're going to do... Uh, so... Distance should be high. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Um, so there's a exclude list, right? Where is it? Copy settings. Isn't there like an... I thought there was like an exclude list or something. Huh. Maybe if we turn it on. Oh, here. Targeting options. Targeting exclusion list. So let's exclude the oil jug bug. And I think I think we wanted to kill vultures because vultures are dangerous. So let's do that and then let's go back this way and let's copy the settings to all turrets in range. There we go. All right, so that's that. Drop down here, take a little damage, and fill turrets. Okay. So at least it's not shooting the oil jug bugs anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Uh, heck yeah, it's on another server I started level one on the map and died six times just getting to level 10 and semi-safe in the spot. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. What zone am I in? I'm not even sure. Well, right now I'm in. You don't want to be here for sure. What is this place called? Northern San Northern uh, Northern West Dunes. So don't want to come over here at all. That's for sure. Very dangerous. You want to start out with somewhere where there's plenty of water nearby. So that's usually like the central area because you're going to need water. Oh gosh. I think it just loads in and it causes damage, but okay. We're going to go get um, air conditioners and see how that helps the situation. So I'm going to try to remember this time. Oh, by the way, we got an 85 and a 55. Those are going into the belly. So that's cool. Time is it. So I don't know, in the first hour and 15 minutes of this stream, we got a lot of progress getting so many good eggs. And now we're just waiting for these guys to raise up and start breeding, I think. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But it's gonna be a while. Um, you're fine, just leave you here. Air conditioners is the thing we're after, but I'm not sure, no, they're over here, if we're going to be able to make those. AC, we're low on poly. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do this, but yeah, we're out of poly. So we are going to have to find ourselves a couple of uh, mantises, and they are going to give us a ton of poly since we got, oh, look at that sunset. That's beautiful. Um, anyway, we're going to find some mantises, and they were going to give us a ton of organic poly. Do, do. I haven't seen a ton of mantises in this general area, but we're only going to need a couple. There's one. He's fried. Wait for it. Now dismount. And it's chainsaw time. This is good though, because we need kite and I'll. Oh, am I out of gas? Dang it. I'll just steal a couple of gallons of gas out of the thing over here. Chainsaw doesn't use too much gas. Got 10 poly so far. Kill a death worm. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely do it. They're hard to find. Whoa. They're hard to find now, though. Loot crate. Da -da -da -da. Let's see, here we go. Ugh. That wasn't very good. A 168 damage long neck. And what was the other thing? Yeah, chitin, which is horrible to use on this map. I'm not one to complain, but that's something to complain. That that's not a good not a good deal. All right, I'm, I don't need that much gasoline. All right, so let's go back to our guy. Um, what I was saying with the death worms, it's kind of stinks now because it's really hard to, uh, so you used to be able to peek under the mesh and see the death worms and now that doesn't work anymore. What, what? Is Ark trying to make it up to me or what the heck is going on here? Oh, it just wanted to laugh at me again. Crappy saber saddle and a manta saddle. Of course, I can't use that on this map either. Okay, I'm going to fly out of render distance again. Uh, after we... We're probably out of render distance right now. I just need to find my corpse. Is that it? Yeah, uh, we'll just... If I don't find it in a second here, we'll just go look for another one. Another mantis. I thought there was another mantis. I don't know where my dead mantis is. Oh, well, not a big deal. I'm really surprised that Desert Loot Crate spawned back in instantaneously, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I went and got my long neck. Okay, it doesn't seem like a loot crate's going to spawn back in this <laughs> a third time. Yeah, it's not spawning in a third time, right? Yeah. I did went, I did go back for my long neck. Long necks kind of are not super great cuz they do um not work in electrical storms. Get something on that worm, kill them, and uh, Alpha will spawn. Yeah. I think when I do go for Death Worms, I'm going to probably bring my Rexes back over because they should work pretty good for the Death Worms. But it stinks because you can't see them under the mesh, and then they're like, okay, there's one. I'm going to go for it. So it's just complete luck now, unless there's uh, some sign that they're around. Like the alphas have that little bit of a glow. I think you can still see that when you're flying over or whatever. I think Hank was on this map and he said he, I can't remember if he went around the whole map and only found one, but it, either way, it was very little. Yeah, I can't be greedy. Can't trash talk the Ark uh, Gods. But I'll save those saddles. We'll probably grind them up later. See, now I can't find a mantis when I'm looking for one, when I need one. I definitely need more than 10 organic polymer, and I don't really want to make my own polymer. I can make some. I've got some. Um, I've got some obsidian. Obsidian spawns right next to the base, so I could definitely do that. I haven't really done any flying any time in the desert anyway, so that's kind of nice to have an excuse to be out here. Here we go. There's two. No, you jerk. Go. You ate it. You jerk. <laughs> Uh, did you leave me anything? Might as well look. Oh, a club. Primitive club. All right, let's see if this works now. A lot of mantis north of Blue Ob. Okay. That's a tough one. 140. Okay. There we go. And wait for it. All right, so now we're get this guy going. some reason it's kind of hard to hit stuff there we go that's a good amount of Let's see if we can find one or two more here good amount of kite in here let's dump this over here, here we go all we're doing is build an air conditioner we really can't test the air conditioner out at night anyway it's the daytime we really got to see if it works Yeah, Vulture's ruining my day here. Got to get these, get this guy before. There we go. So that was 97. Ah, broke my cloth hat. Um, that was 97 poly. And then let's see how much. Or no, I disabled resource harvesting. Let's check this little, little thing out over here. Oh, that's a mantis. Then I think we're going to be overburdened. We can dump some of this uh, meat that we got here. There we go. No! Making me mad. All right, let's just cut these ruins. You get Dune vibes. They should have a, like, you reskin them till they look like the Dune, uh, Dune creatures. Oh, this is the, uh, the little arena thing. This is cool. And it's full of mantises. No, well, there's two mantises anyway. 
This is cool. I like it. Alright, let's kill this guy. There. And we'll get these guys. I, th I think I was saying it. I think I said it in the last live stream. It's like, I don't know. Or maybe I said it in Discord. I don't know if I'm going to bother trying to tame Mantises until Ragnarok. Just because the amount of death worm, hor death worm horns that we need. And in Ragnarok, they're going to be pretty easy to get because of the, the ice worms. All right. Oh, I didn't notice we were dying from the cold. That is an issue. We might not make it. I don't think we're going to make it back to the base alive. Anything I can do other than put on these guys? That's all I got right now. <laughs> I don't think they're going to keep me warm enough. Uh, my character isn't that thirsty. It does need a drink. What do we have in here? Nothing to save me. Oh, maybe we can fly down here to be warm. Come on, I cannot be ice cubed in this thing. Okay. <laughs> I see a bunch of, of uh, nests, though, so the nests have respawned. So I can take a drink now, top that off. Oh, there's so many nests I want to stop and look at, but we're kind of almost overburdened anyway. Yeah, I just don't go. I haven't spent a lot of time away from my base to be a quite honest so i haven't actually spent a lot of time on scorched earth yet um compared to most people on the server i think <laughs> hey pete how you doing you took your car car out to find den death worms and ended up with two at one time oh yeah i saw that picture you posted on uh on discord yeah you got you got visited oh we got fire wyvern on us, but we'll probably lose it by the time we get back to our uh, gun turrets. Probably already gave up. No, well, it's still after us. I'm going to fly into the wall, and that's going to be a problem. There's definitely more wyverns in here than there were when we started the stream. And we came in here with our Argentavis flock. Yeah. Either lost him or he's just way behind. Now I'm overheating. Probably because I got those chitin gloves on. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we'll make we'll make it back to base from here now. Now we're frozen again. Uh, can you teleport players? Uh, I can uh, as the admin. But I don't know how. It wouldn't be that hard. I could. I think I can teleport you to me, but I'm not going to unless I don't know why there would be a good reason to right now. Um, we're gonna. I might set up teleporters on here, but that's kind of a. That's kind of a whole another issue, really. Um, yeah. So we'll do. keep forgetting about this situation in here all right so we'll empty our wyvern using this thing there we go and then we're gonna make some air conditioners but not in here we're gonna make them in here air conditioners there we go I think just two will try out There we go. All right, so one of the beautiful things about this automated arc thing, the egg crate may not be working, but one of the cool things is you can turn this organic poly into hard poly over here in the uh, poly transmutator so that it'll stick around a long time. So that's very nice. And you can switch it back too. Because uh, you need organic for a couple of recipes. Uh, I'm trying to get started up here too. Almost no dinos yet. Lost a 
lot for dinos dropping down in the base. Oh, yeah, that kind of stinks. When they fall down off a cliff into your base. I had that problem on my first Scorched Earth playthrough. So we're just going to keep this organic poly in the fridge over here. And put the rest in here. Oh, and we needed uh, cementing paste. So let's get this in here. Kind of miss my snails. Miss my snails a lot, actually. All right, so I don't need you, 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 you. I think we're good for you. So was the only thing I need to bring over to the other place... Um, Just the air conditioners to test out, but we should probably wait for daylight in order to actually test those. <clears throat> You've died eight times? That sounds about right. Unfortunately. So one thing you want to do is, when you can, is craft a bed. Make yourself a little, little tiny base. Um, I've got a little tiny base where I started out with just made out of thatch that's a good place to put down a bed because you then you can at least respawn in the same spot ah uh, it's looking good so our little dude's chirping is there anything else that we needed oh i wanted to put in a storage box at our little outpost so let's craft up one of those dudes there we go Keep your implants so you can play poker with the implants as chips. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't have very many implants. I haven't died a done. Die on all. I haven't died a lot. Bring over the AA console for pulling from the from dead wire just as a test. Good idea. Uh, let's see. I need to make that in here. I just need metal. I might not have metal. That is really easy to get. Uh, let's see. Got a bunch of metal. Metal nodes this way. Probably get five metal from these rocks, but I know I can get it over here. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm dying again. Unfortunately, I think I probably do have to craft up some fur armor. Because it's stupid, ridiculously cold out here. Oh, I'm dying quick. I gotta go. Shoot. Just dump that. We gotta go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Be really dumb if I died outside my base here. Because of the cold. There we go. We survived. Okay, so let's make an extra console. There we go. Fur, bring an otter from the island. Yeah, it's just that I'm like, I don't know if I'm bringing an otter, but I think uh, fur would be a good idea. I have a little bit of fur that I've picked up. And I think, yeah, we picked up a couple of pieces of fur from drops. So let's test that out and then see how we are. I guess all I needed is some uh, was some gloves and stuff. Um, I should make some more though. Sorry, fur. Okay, yeah, let's just make a chest piece real quick. Then we'll go back to our little outpost, and by that time, we'll probably be too hot. There we go. You're in a player's base with loads of dinos. Yeah, put points into fortitude as you're leveling up. You're going to need it. All right. 
by the way. Put that on. And I got my air conditioners with me. And did I bring my little storage chest? Yes. What are you doing over there, Argentavis? Looks like I'll be able to, uh, with the amount of wyverns in here, we'll probably be able to pull something uh, over towards our guns and see if that works with them uh, a little bit better with them being high up. I should also check and see how much uh, water my crop plots have in them. Are there loadout mannequins? I don't know if there are or not. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's fully irrigated. All right, so I don't think we'll be able to test this out, like I said, but not until not until daytime anyway. Oh, I'm hot already. Okay, so I got two air conditioners on. There we go. Okay, so am I hot over here? Sandstorm going on. So that seems to be good. Let me turn this off and see what happens. So what's the temperature in here? According to the inside, it is... There it is. 4 degrees Celsius. So it's cold. It's super cold. And I am dying of heat frustration. Yeah, I'm losing my health because of heat, and it's 4 degrees Celsius. And now we're okay that we got the air conditioner on again. Okay. Drink that. I can't drink for some reason. Why can't I drink? There we go. I'll drink out of there. All right, so air conditioners make a huge dif uh, uh, difference out here. I might as well um, put this in here. Might as well just leave them here. I'm going to do the old one, two, three, four pin code in case anybody wants to put anything in here. Uh, I can pin this, pin code this too, I think, can I not? In case anybody wants to donate ammo for it. So there we go. Um, what else do I need to do? Uh, pin code the door in case it gets closed. Then somebody can get in here if they need to. Hide from something. The weather, for instance. I think I'm going to try to get back to the base because I don't really have anything else to do here. Yeah, you can uh, yeah dress the uh, training dummy. Oh, there's my base. The only thing you can really do in a sandstorm, um, Thunderdog, is um, you can hide in an adobe building. That helps you out a lot. And then also before that, you can craft a tent, which I think you need silk for and stuff like that. I'm not sure what level that's at, but that'll also protect you from the sandstorm. Can't do much when you're in there, but... Oh, I didn't put up the control console. Derp. Canteen won't work in a lightning storm. <laughs> okay. Okay, Ark. That makes no sense. I often forget what I'm doing in Ark, and especially when I'm doing a live stream. But yeah, we'll put up this uh, console. I gotta exclude everything. Boy, that's wasting a lot of ammo. Maybe I should exclude uh, vultures from there. Okay. So what am I doing? Search con uh, the AA console. Uh, I'll put that right here. And 
let's make sure we exclude all the structures. I don't know what would be in an air conditioner, but exclude that. Close that. Uh, manual sort. Okay, nothing in my wyvern. So let's see. Is the sandstorm still going on? No. So let's see if we can kite ourselves a wyvern into these things. And see if we can, uh, yeah, grab the talons out of it. There can be other stuff in their inventory too, so we'll see if that works. I don't think it will, but what do we got here? 170 fire. Hey, buddy. There we go. Come on this way. Might as well. You got to test stuff out. Yeah, I'm guessing it wouldn't work on a... Yeah, we'll find out in a sec. There it goes. I think it works on bags. All right, so let's see. Should be in range. So that didn't work. I'm wondering if it'll do death bags though. So let's go. Well, I can't gobble it, but I can destroy a corpse with this. So there's the bag now. So it's just a death bag. I think I, I did hit manual. I'm pretty sure. Which I'm going to do right now. No. Let's uh, see if it is in range. It should be in range. Yeah, so the death bag is in range. I don't even know what. So that doesn't work, but that's not a big deal. I thought it. I thought it did draw. Did collect from ba uh, dropped bags though. But I guess not. Okay, so I think this place is set up for now. I think if uh, Hank, you wanted to drop off some Plant Species X in here, that would be pretty cool. And we can set that up. Vacuum doesn't pick up bags. Just individual drop things. So that's not going to work, unfortunately. Dropping right on this dude. There we go. I actually need the chitin, so I'm going to slice you up. Get out of here, you stupid Argent. Oh, you want to go? Huh? Coming at me? Chainsaw time, buddy. Oh, there's too many of them. <laughs> Whoa, it's a party. So this isn't a real high level guy, but his lightning is getting the job done. That's for sure. Oh, well. It's a 150. Does that work? I got some kite in there. I don't even know if it was worth grabbing anything out of here. Oh. No one likes me over here. Or they like me for lunch. I don't know. Come on, 85 Carno. Die. There we go. Watch me. In oh, that was close. Trying to get some hide because we're low on hide as well. Oh, I brought in every freaking Argentavis in the neighborhood with these corpses. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I just want to collect some hide. All right, fine. Okay, Sabretooth is on me. My health is going down on this wyvern. No saddles on these guys. What is this guy? He keeps healing up with uh, eating my corpses that I want to collect. Come on, stop healing up. <laughs> there we go. Okay, maybe I'll be able to collect two corpses anyway. I don't think a chainsaw would, wouldn't be very uh, helpful in real life to uh, harvest hide. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we did some science. Got that stuff. All right, let's get back to base. I'm almost dead. Why am I almost dead? Was I not paying attention? I might have been starving to death. All right. All right, let's get back to base and heal up. This poor wyvern needs to heal up too. He's lost a lot of health. Lol indeed, Pete. <laughs> Lol indeed. You're at a place called the uh, Bean Patch Ranch. Yep, you're at Green Beans Place. I'll drop off some Plant X and make a bunch of ammo as well. That's cool. I can make a ton more ammo. But it'll be nice having some Plant X there too. Okay. How much hide did I get after all that shenanigans? Eh, it was a fair amount of hide. Not going to complain about that. I'm really hoping to find like some higher level chainsaws. I think that would be very helpful. Yeah, we got a few adobe structures there. Hey, I got two foundations I can fill this hole now. That's nice. There we go. Our gods have provided there. All right, let's go to this search con uh, control. Uh, we'll take that, that. And what else do I have here? Oh, I got a journeyman mantis saddle, 52. I'll take that. Not, like I said, I'm not sure if we're actually going to uh, tame mantis on this map. Due to weirdness. And let's go ahead and turn this chitin right away into uh, smelting paste. Let's grab a little stone. Got tons of stone. There we go. Get that going. I used to kill your founda uh, my foundations using the chainsaw to harvest and breed Ovis. <laughs> That's one thing I should do. I should try um, breeding some Ovis, like uh, like was mentioned earlier. Cause um, I haven't I haven't tamed up any Ovis yet on uh, Ark Survival Ascended. Drop that off. Got some mutton though from the drop. Several drops. All right, let's do this. Put our cloth back on. Let's repair this one. This hat over here. We're going to probably need that. Got some desert cloth, but it's not that good, I don't think, compared to... So this is heat resist of 51. And this is a heat resist of 103. So definitely better. So let's go back to this. And repair this guy. I guess we might as well repair all our cloth stuff right now. Since we're here. Doesn't have too many more hits left in it. There we go. And the hands. Cool. I'm going to leave that saddle in there for now, actually. And do this. All right. So pretty eventful day, I think. 
I don't know. Should we make another run of the wyvern trench? We, this guy's got to heal up before we entertain doing that stuff. Uh, what do you got? 2,500 health? You're probably okay. Let's do... Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab a little bit extra food for ourselves then. Come on. And let's see what we can do. We'll raid a couple of nests. I think that's how we'll wrap up today. Raid a couple more nests. Maybe get a couple of talents from our little array over there. There's that guy. So that was that was the 95. So this was a 90 that we hatched out. That's doing pretty good. Can you pick me up? Are you stuck in the base? Is that the problem? Um, if no one can uh, pick you up, I'm not, I don't even remember where Green Beans Base is, but um, you can also go, um, if you don't have anything, you can hover over this and wait for the timer to run out, and then you can uh, hit uh, the use key, which is E, and then that will uh, kill you, and then you can respawn. Okay, Green Bean said she'll be back. Oh, you can read that, but yeah, she'll be back to uh, at her base in a minute to pull you out of there if necessary. Okay. Should have looked around for danger. I'm getting a little complacent here. Those guys are just, they don't even care. They're just going to... Oh. All right, now they care. All right, we might run the ammo out of this thing yet today. I should have a, a pistol here or something to re-aggro this thing. That range is like point blank, <laughs> I gotta say. Like right there. This would also be a good way to get um, what is it, sulfur and prime meat. All right, let's go grab. So there's at least two more nests there. Yeah, they are set on high. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to double check it. I don't know if there was just a delay for whatever reason. I kind of think it's just a delay. Yeah, high. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. My health isn't so great. All right, so we got at least two more nests to raid over here. And then what did we get? 20. Okay, so just get rid of that right away. So we got this guy over here. We got, ugh. I guess it's just this um, trench loading in that causes the stutter. All right, so now we're going to do this a little smarter and get ourselves pointed in the right direction. Head out here. We should have a wyvern in tow somewhere. There it is. We'll give him a little a little time. No, he doesn't care. What did we get this time? 55. Eat that guy. And I guess if you're going to attack whatever you're attacking... What is that? Oh, it's a Lamantria. There's another... Should be a third nest here, right? There it is. Alrighty. Let's see what we get for a lightning. Oh, okay. Maybe there's the warning on there. I don't know why you would warn creatures. So let's go change that. I don't know if anybody's following me. Yep. I thought the warning was off, but I just picked everything up and put it back down. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that is the problem. All right. So we'll fix that real quick here. So check our egg though. 20.
But man, these things just don't seem to aggro like they used to. Change from no warning. It says it's on no warning. Yeah. No warning. Wild creatures only. Anything else? That's just the exclude list. Weird. Yeah, no warning. No warning. No warning. Huh. 123 bullets. 122. Guys are getting... We're waking up to something. Maybe, maybe the warning thing isn't actually working. All right. Let's check for a couple more nests. We'll start out right down here below. There's definitely a lot more nests than there were on my score. Um, yeah, my sur survival evolved version of this. And I guess these nests glow at night, which is pretty cool. Nighttime is probably the right time to come into here. All right, VA growing anybody? They should aggro from a very long distance. Okay, they glow, but they... Yeah, okay. It doesn't have to be an actual active nest there, it looks like. Okay. So it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Still helps a bit, I guess. Those aren't heavies. Those are just regulars. That's the one we just grabbed, right? All right, we'll check a couple more of these and see what happens. Uh, Thunderdog, you can always eat berries. They don't fill you up very much, but they might keep you alive. Don't eat narco berries, the black ones, or the stem berries, the white ones. That's not going to help you out. Okay, this is a multi-egg multi nest. We do have a wyvern right below, above us, I think. All right, so let's get ourselves one, two, whoops, please. There we go. I think we're going to aggro that one. What? Oh, this would be, this is, could be very bad for us. Hopefully no one is in, it's coming behind us because we can't barely move here. Curious to see though if we get protection. Do we get protection just from being in any building? Let's find out here. Oh yeah, we got protection in here from the sandstorm. Okay, so we just have to be inside. That's not so bad. All right, what do we get? 60. Eat that guy. 55. And a 45. So we didn't get any good eggs, unfortunately. Organic polymer is delicious. Yeah. Don't don't eat organic polymer. <laughs> I don't think Thunderdog's gonna have access to organic poly for a while. I think I hear Do I hear loot crate out here? Well, now that I'm not worried about, um, the wyverns, I think we're just going to fly home. There we go. I really didn't want to get, really didn't want to get fried there. Glad we didn't. Yeah, I just loading that thing in. I thought it was server restart, but it's just flying over the trench does that to us, I guess. Eh, it's just a... Is that a, is that a blue drop? Or a purple? That might be worth checking out. Let's we'll wait. We'll wait for that. 
I think this storm is already starting to clear up. Don't really want to aggro anything though. Storms are kind of pretty, but they're really obnoxious. <laughs> really obnoxious. Yeah, my stamina is still going down. I did change the stamina drain on the scorched earth map so that shouldn't affect you as much. There we go. What do we got? Eh, we'll pick it up. Nothing too exciting, but we'll take it. It is a blue drop after all. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is going to make sure we got plenty of food in our trough so that we can continue to feed our baby wyverns. And then I think that's probably going to do it for today. Oh, we got another ring to blue drop coming down. I'll skip that one, I think. So let's get up here, please. There we go. What uh, do we have here? We're 43%. And we got tons of meat on here, so I think we're going to be just fine when we log off. Let's close up our door, keep our guys safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Pretty sure we'll be back on Sunday. Thank you very much for joining us on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you for your likes, your uh, new subs, and uh, your follows. So we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.